Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Today, we are looking at some crazy animals that were created by humans. And we're also looking at the reason why these were created. We have everything from crossbreeds to glowing animals. So strap in and get ready to be amazed. Number 10. Human Pig Embryo Now, anyone in their right mind would likely say, this has gone too far. Why would anyone try and make a human and pig hybrid? And most of you would agree with that statement without a second thought. While this may be a remarkable feat, some have argued that this is also highly controversial. Nonetheless, in 2017, scientists announced that they had successfully created the first human-animal hybrid. This project, however, had quite a noble cause. Every 10 minutes, a person is asked to the national waiting list for an organ transplant. And every day, many people on that list pass away because they were lacking the organ they need. So what if, instead of waiting for a generous donor, we would be able to grow one of these organs in need instead of an animal? The project the scientists were working on proved that human cells could be introduced into a non-human organism and grow inside an animal. In this case, it was pigs. What science is hoping to solve is the critical shortage of donor organs. After all, it is still somewhat weird if you think about it. Number 9. Transgenic Dog this story is about a beagle named Ruppy, which is short for Ruby Puppy, who was the world's first transgenic dog. Transgenic means that an organism had unrelated DNA or genes artificially introduced. Ruppy and four other beagles produced a fluorescent protein that is usually produced by sea anemones. When these puppies are set under ultraviolet light, they give off a red glow. Not only does Ruppy glow under specific light, but this puppy is also cloned. The scientist team started off by inserting the fluorescent gene into the dog fibroblast cells. Fibroblast cells are the most common framework of many tissues. Don't worry if you can't remember that however, there won't be a test at the end of all this. They did all of this because this may lead them closer to understanding human diseases. There is certainly the potential for this model to help find human diseases. The process we have been developing could help prevent muscular dystrophy and Parkinson's disease, says Professor Jiang Zhao. If that makes sense to you, I applaud you. Number 8. Spider Goat While you may imagine a terrifying picture of a goat with 8 legs and multiple eyes in your mind, when I say the word spider goat, that is actually very far from the truth. Freckles, the goat we are talking about, is just the average goat that you could find on a normal farm. However, there is something extra in one of her cells. She is also part spider. This attests to the crazy possibilities we have nowadays. Our mastery of manipulating DNA has evolved into a much more extreme form, which is known under the name synthetic biology. Now, when Freckles lactates, her milk is full of spider silk protein. This silk has unique abilities and is stronger than Kevlar, which is the synthetic fiber used in combat helmets and bulletproof vests. They milk her and process it further in a lab to only leave the silk protein. Then they carefully lift out the spider silk and spool it on a reel. In the future, the spider silk may be used to repair ligaments, which are the tough elastic tissues around your joints. Just imagine all the possibilities. Maybe Spider Goat will even fight alongside Spider-Man in the next movie. Number 7. Belgian Blue Cow You definitely can't convince me that this cow doesn't go to the gym with how muscular it really is. The Belgian Blue Cows are known for their lean and ultra-muscular physique, which is called double muscling, which you can see why by just looking at it. The breed originated in Belgium sometime in the 19th century. Back then, the local cow breeds were bred with the shorthorn breed that was from the United Kingdom. This breed of cow has a natural mutation in the myostatin gene, which inhabits muscle development and interferes with fat deposition, resulting in a very firm and lean meat. Until now, the Belgian blue cow is one of the most popular cattle to own all over the world, as it produces more milk than a regular cow and has very tasty meat. I guess you can't really argue with the facts. Number 6. Aqua Advantage Salmon no matter what your opinion on genetically modified food may be, the FDA has approved a specific type of salmon and marked it safe to eat. Fish are one of the eight food types that the FDA is required to treat with special care regarding allergies. It has been stated that people with allergies to Atlantic salmon due to similar properties and not because it is genetically engineered. This salmon was first developed in 1989, but unfortunately back then the FDA wasn't quite ready to approve it yet. The growth hormone gene in the Atlantic salmon was replaced with one of the Pacific Chinook salmon. This allowed the salmon to grow year-round instead of only during the spring and summer. However, the genetically modified salmon is now able to grow much faster too. Usually it takes salmon 3 years to reach its maximum size, but the Aqua Advantage salmon can reach its size in just 16 to 18 months. Isn't that crazy to think about? 
Number five, human milk cow. A team led by the China Agricultural University has successfully introduced human genes into 300 cows so they could produce human milk. In 2018, this team stated that in another 10 years, they may finally be able to pour this enhanced milk into a consumer's cup. I can already hear you asking, why? And my answer is, well, I don't really know, but I have somewhat of an idea. It may be a substitute for newborns and mothers that are unable to breastfeed their babies. Formula milk is often criticized to be an inferior substitute to breast milk, as breast milk has large quantities of lysozyme proteins in it. Lysozyme helps protect infants from bacterial infections in their early days. According to the team working on this, the milk from the genetically modified cows could provide a much better alternative than baby formula. It is also stated that the human-like milk will provide much higher nutritional content than cow's milk. We will just have to see what becomes of this. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments below. Number 4. Zors. A Zors is the offspring of a zebra stallion and a horse mare and was unsurprisingly created by humans. Now, why did we start breeding these two animals, you may ask? Well, there was really no specific reason other than research. Sources were bred by the US government in an attempt to investigate inheritance and telegony. The animal that results in breeding a zebra and a horse is an animal that looks more like a horse than a zebra, but one that has stripes. Since there are not only three different subspecies of the zebra, but also nearly 300 different breeds of the domestic horse, the zorus can very dramatically differ in size and color. The zebra part also gives the zorus a resistance to certain pests and diseases that normally affect both horses and donkeys. Number 3. Glowfish Glow sticks and glowfish. Where seems to be the difference? Well, one is alive and swims around in an aquarium, and the other is just a thing. If we look closer, we can clearly see what makes them alike. Both glow. The fluorescent fish come in a variety of species and colors and are mainly tropical fish. All look brilliant under white LEDs and under blue LEDs, their colors will leave you baffled. The ability to reproduce light is not just a flashy feature, but can give the animal in question an advantage. Some use their light to attack prey, and some use this advantage to confuse their predators and see to live another day. But why would they genetically modify fish that are meant to live in a tank, where neither of them are prey nor predators? Well, the long-term goal is to be able to detect toxins in polluted waters and protect the communities living around them. The first step was to make them glow all of the time, and then works towards the possibility of only making them fluoresce in the presence of toxins. Pretty smart, isn't it? Number 2. Envirapig here comes Envirapig, the superhero we didn't know we needed. Well, to be fair, we knew that we needed an environmentally friendly pig, but why did we need one? Pigs are not necessarily environmentally unfriendly, but they are fed a specific supplement that makes their waste a hazard. Farmers feed their pigs extra phosphorus because they can't easily absorb it from their food. Some of the phosphorus are absorbed, but most of it is excreted in their urine and feces and into the environment around it. Pig poop is recycled most of the time and used as fertilizer to help plants grow, but the extra phosphorus washes into rivers, lakes and oceans. The presence of this promotes the growth of algae, which is very good in the beginning. However, the more algae grow, the more of the competition for resources rises and many algae begin to die. The bacteria in the water use a lot of oxygen and make it unavailable for other life, creating aquatic dead zones. Now they have genetically modified a pig that excretes freer pollutants. Number 1. Dolly the sheep. Unless you have lived under a rock, you may already know some specific information about this special sheep or you have at least heard of Dolly. Dolly the sheep has been dubbed the world's most famous sheep, so it would be quite a surprise if you haven't heard of it. Dolly was the first cloned mammal that was cloned from an adult cell on the planet and was quite the scientific achievement. The sheep was born on July 5th in 1996 and had three mothers. One provided the egg, another the DNA and the third carried the cloned embryo to derm. The production of Dolly showed that genes in some mature cells are still capable of reverting to an embryonic state, creating a cell that can then go on to develop into any other part of an animal. Dolly gained so much attention from the media and even had a special report in the Time magazine. Unfortunately, she died back in 2003 of a lung disease, though it was considered unrelated to her being a clone. And there you have it. 10 most bizarre animals created by humans. Did you think we missed anything? If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be first to notified when we post. Thank you all for watching, we'll see you in the next video.